Kilauea Volcano Update the ongoing eruption of Halima'uma'u Crater ended abruptly at 7.3 a.m. after more than six hours of continuous lava flow. The northern vent began continuously erupting lava at 12.53 a.m. and ceased erupting around 7.3 a.m. In contrast, the southern vent erupted between 1.45 and 7 a.m. Lava ejection from the northern vent was directed northeastward. In contrast, the shot from the southern vent shot straight upward, reaching approximately 1,300 feet. Approximately 8.9 million cubic meters of material were erupted. Volcanic gas emissions have decreased dramatically. The ongoing summit eruption of Kilauea Volcano on the Big Island of Hawaii is a dual lava flow event. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported that a low lava fountain about 9 meters high began flowing at 11 to 43 p.m. from the north vent in the southwest part of Halamauma'u Crater. With the onset of deflation at 12.53 a.m. this morning, the fountain began to grow and gain volume. At 1.13 a.m., it increased to 100 meters and tilted slightly to the northeast, pouring lava onto the crater floor. The south and north vents erupted at 5.20 a.m. this morning, as seen by three live cameras overlooking the crater provided by the U.S. Geological Survey V1 Cam, V2 Cam, and V3 Cam. Previous episodes have produced incandescent lava fountains over 1,000 feet high and eruptive plumes 20,000 feet above ground level. The National Park Service and U.S. Geological survey monitoring stations indicate moderate winds are blowing from the northeast, so although all eruptive activity is confined to Halema Uma'u Crater within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, volcanic gases and other volcanic material may be distributed southwest of the crater. Forecasters at the National Weather Service office in Honolulu have issued a special weather advisory for the Big Island regarding the small intermittent plumes of volcanic ash continuing to emanate from Halamauma'u. Webcam and radar data indicate that low trade winds will push ash southwestward, with ash fall likely in Ka'u and Highway 11, southwest of the volcano, including the communities of Pahala, Wood Valley, Na'alehu, Ocean View, Mailoli'i, Honaunau, Captain Cook, and Kealakekua. In addition, ash deposited over the past few days is likely to be carried by local winds, contributing to dusty conditions, the special weather statement said. The public is advised to avoid excessive exposure to ash, which can irritate the eyes and respiratory tract. Those with respiratory sensitivities should take extra precautions to minimize exposure. Episode 34 was preceded by more than 120 gas piston events, producing sporadic small plumes as high as 10 feet, many resulting in brief outbursts. These events began shortly before 10 p.m. and steadily increased in frequency and intensity until they became rhythmic by 1.30 p.m.
The rhythmic gas pistoning continued past midnight, but had produced only 10 outbursts in 100 events by 6.30 a.m. Gas pistoning continued and magma remained high at the northern vent, with sustained lava outbursts and low-altitude lava eruptions beginning nearly five hours later at 11.43 p.m. Since the final episode concluded, the inflation gradient reached 18 microradians, seismic tremors increased, and the slope shifted from inflationary to deflationary. No changes were detected in Kilauea's east or southwest rift zone, Kilauea's volcano alert level remains at alert, and the volcano's aviation color code remains orange.